Being Martin Luther King's secretary came with high risk and few perks, but she wasn't looking for glory. The KKK was after her, but she knew she had to persevere. Martin Luther King's dream largely depended on her. This is Two Minute Black History, what you didn't learn in school. Tensions were high during the 1950s in Montgomery, Alabama. Maud Ballou, a mother and activist known for her strict work ethic, regularly faced racist harassment. When Martin Luther King Jr. requested that Ballou be his personal secretary, she had to think carefully. She'd decline his previous offers. That kind of national visibility would increase the danger of violence. Regardless, Balu agreed, becoming Martin Luther King's right-hand woman. She booked flights, edited speeches, co-organized the Montgomery bus boycott, and more. Historians say 85% of MLK's letters during the Montgomery period were in Balu's handwriting. Martin Luther King relied on Balu for good reason. She risked everything for their work even her life. In 1957, Ralph Abernathy's house was bombed just down the street from Balu's home. Four days later, she was 21st on a list of persons and churches most vulnerable to violent attacks. Soon, the Ku Klux Klan were watching Balu from her office windows and a member of the White Citizens Council threatened to harm her children if she didn't stop working for MLK. But Balu didn't have time to worry about what might happen or what had happened or what should happen, she later said. There was work to do. King himself praised her devotion and sacrifice. Balu taught us that the work of black liberation takes courage, like her, we must persevere, even when faced with danger. In order to move towards the future, you've got to look to the past. This has been Two Minute Black History, a podcast by Push Black. Show your support by sharing this episode on your social media and join us in amplifying stories we all deserve to know. <laughs>